And now we're in the food and wine portion and I of course have my impossible burger. Tastes like pineapple juice. This is the barbecue jack burger, which is vegetarian. By far, my favorite drink. By Epcot, it's been such a good day. Good morning from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa here at the Villas. Today is our wedding day. Are you excited? Yeah. You like our ears, everybody? We have the Disney Fairy Tale Weddings logo and then bride with the date and groom with the date. We just had in-room dining. I had the strawberry soup and we actually have an ADR at Grand Floridian Cafe, which we're heading to right now. Just a nice little brunch lunch situation. And I think I'm gonna get the avocado toast. I've never eaten here at the cafe, but I'm really excited to. And like I said, today's our wedding day. So follow along to see what we do today what we wait for our wedding to happen because I don't have to get ready until 6 p.m. So probably gonna hit up Disney Springs. I don't have to get ready till 8 p.m. Yeah, he doesn't have to get ready till practically right before the wedding. So follow along to see what we do today. We might meet up with people who knows what today is going to bring. But for now, we are going to the cafe. What did you think of the Grand Floridian Cafe? It was okay. What do you mean okay? You wait it, your entire breakfast like in 10 seconds. Yeah, I do that everywhere. Definitely not. It was all right. I like the, the potato casserole. My avocado toast is pretty good. I would recommend getting a reservation there. And they also have strawberry soup, which is something that we had earlier, and that was really good. You really liked that. Yeah, that was Overall, good. Overall though, I think that was a pretty good breakfast, and our server was absolutely amazing. We got pixie dusted with champagne, which was really cool. Now we're gonna head back into the villas, and I'm probably going to give you guys a room tour finally. And welcome to our two bedroom villa here at the Grand Floridian. I'm going to give you guys a room tour. When you first walk in, there are three different options. You can go left, right, or straight. So first we are going to go straight into the kitchen and living room. First up, we just have some counter space with the ice bucket. And then you have the table over here. And this is a DVC villa, so it has the full kitchen with a table and tableware. So here is the kitchen. You just have a sink, a Mr. Coffee coffee pot with the Disney's 50th anniversary blend. You have a stove, an oven, a microwave, and a fridge. This is actually the fridge right here. And then there's a freezer on the bottom and you just keep moving in and then you get to the living room portion of this villa. So you just have a pull out couch, some lounging chairs, some nice artwork. We have Minnie and Mickey. And then over here is the TV center and this bed does pull out. This is what the artwork looks like. And then we have the balcony and it goes from the first bedroom to the living room to the master bedroom. This is our view from our room. And then to the right is the master bedroom, which also has balcony access. And the balconies are just split by this little wall right here. So in here, we just have a suede chair, a bed. There's a closet. Once again, a TV and a little entertainment center. And then you have a desk. This is where all the Disney things are. For me, we have our Drink Around the World passports. If you missed that video, I will link it above. Magic bands, some of my gear for filming, and then a bunch of ears. These also have have ears in them. And then here is the artwork in this room. It is Mary Poppins themed. So heading back this way into the closet, we do have a bunch of stuff in here, but this is just an overall look at it. So this is Dylan's whites, his suit, and then this is my dress. And there's also a safe back here. And there also is some robes. They do not specifically say Grand Floridian, but there are some robes. Dylan did try it out and he said that they weren't that comfortable. I will say one thing I don't like about this specific bedroom is that the outlets are very far away. Luckily enough, I have a 10-foot cord so I'm able to make it but there aren't any outlets sitting on the nightstand or directly behind that we could plug in and it's kind of the same situation with the desk there is a plug right there but it is hard to reach especially when you have a laptop charger which is larger and will not fit in that area this one over here does have a plug right next to it but I would like to see more options as I definitely have more than one thing to charge there's also some mirrors next to the bed and these lights above the bed also turn on it is just this button and then they turn on and look like this so moving along this way we're going to go into the bathroom section of this specific master bedroom. So this is a vanity sink area. This is where I've been brushing my teeth and getting ready for the most part. And then we have a gigantic bathtub over here. Here at the Grand, they do not have the locked off shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. It's just the bottles, which I like. But this is the bathtub with a mirror. And one thing that's really cool about this specific bathroom is this is a TV. So while you're taking a bath, you can watch the news or whatever you like to watch. But this is a nice big mirror. I do like how this 
resort has a lot of mirrors, but there really isn't that much in this bathroom besides this vanity and the bathtub. So we're going to walk into the main portion of the bathroom. As you can see though, I have plugged in my batteries here because there are plugs open. So you can find open outlets. You just might have to put them somewhere that you don't specifically want to put them. So in here we have the bathroom. I will say the lighting is pretty low in here. I don't love the lighting in here, but there's another vanity to get ready. We've just been using this one to wash our hands and then another decently sized mirror. And then you have a full body mirror, which has been really nice because you can really see your whole outfit. Sometimes in the value resorts, it's hard to see your whole outfit because the mirror is on the back of a door that's smaller than this. So behind me, that is the shower and we have the toilet. This shower is absolutely insane. It's one of my favorite showers on property. I have heard the Riviera showers are just as good, but this is the Grand Floridian shower. So we're just going to turn on the light and step in. This thing is huge. So once again, we just have the bottles instead of the locked bottles and then the rainfall shower head and the handheld shower head. And then there is a bench. This thing is massive. It makes for a really comfortable shower. And then you have your controls here, hot and cold and for the rainfall versus the handheld. So that is it for the master bedroom portion of this room. We're going to head over to the two bed room shortly. I definitely love this master area. It's really nice and spacious and I really love the DVC villas. I really want to tour a grand villa because they have a media room. I think that would be really awesome. So I'm maybe going to try to do that today. I'm not quite sure. I might have to go to Disney Springs, but let's continue on with this room tour. So from here, we're just going to go across the hall. In here, we just have a desk with a mirror and it leads right into the bathroom. So this is just the vanity area with another mirror. Same sort of concept as the other bathroom. And then you have the pretty much same exact shower, just on a smaller scale. So you have the rainforest shower head and then the handheld and the bottles instead of the locked bottles. And then over here, you have the toilet and then a bathtub. So this one's just a regular bathtub. And these have separate doors. So this is a door and that's a door. And then there is a door in this middle here that you can open up so that you have a separation between the shower and the bathroom. From the bathroom, we come out into this little hallway and you have a closet here with just some hangers and some space to put suitcases or hang clothes. A lot of these villas have lots of spacious accommodations for clothing and luggage and stuff because people stay here for weeks on end sometimes. But there is a mirror right here. It isn't completely full body necessarily, but you can get your full body in the mirror. And then we just have the two beds. So here are the two beds and there is an entertainment center once again with a TV and a fan. Now this one does have a lot more outlets like you can see over here. There's some over here. Now obviously because there is a CPAP machine here, those outlets have been taken, but there is a decent amount of outlets compared to over in the master. These are our custom buttons for our wedding for our guests. And then you also have a phone and controls for the fan and lighting. So you just have these lamps over the bed and then you have a table over here and a cute little mirror and you have access to the balcony. Once again, this is just the other side of the balcony. We were over there earlier, but this is the end of our balcony on this side and this is the view from this room. Those are the Polynesian bungalows and Polly and the wedding pavilion is right there. That right there is picture point. We will be able to get some pictures there, which I'm very excited about. That is not our ceremony location, but I'm excited to get some pictures there. You can hear the boats go by and you can also see the electric water pageant go by as well from here. This isn't the absolute best view that we've ever had at the Grand Floridian, but I don't think it's bad. Like I said, this is a two bedroom villa here at the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. So we're going to go back out the door and I'm going to show you guys the laundry facilities and then we'll be done with this room tour. Right out of that door, we have the laundry facilities. Here's the washer and dryer and an iron and an ironing board. And then we are back over into the master bathroom. So that is it for the room tour here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa in the two bedroom villa. I really enjoy this room. I think it's very spacious. I love the DVC rooms and overall I can't say enough good things. But now let's go on to another adventure. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I kind of want to go over to the Polynesian for the sip abrasion, which is a drink that I want to get. But I don't know that I really want to walk over to the Poly to be completely honest. I also need to go to Disney Springs for earrings because I totally forgot to buy earrings. So I might have to head over to Springs. But Dylan and Kelsey are currently at the pool. So let's see what they're up to. I guess I'll go down the slide.
So I actually did end up going to the pool with Dylan and Kelsey, but I am now back and I have showered and dried my hair and everything because it is now time to get ready. My makeup artist should be here any minute and it actually did rain a little bit earlier. It stopped now, but this is just the fit check for now. Just a robe and then some slippers. It is time for hair and makeup very shortly. So I'm going to do like a little time lapse of that and take you through the rest of the day before we head out to Disney's Hollywood Studios. morning from the Grand Floridian. We are going into Magic Kingdom today for our photo session and I'm bringing you guys with. I'm so excited for this as we practically have Magic Kingdom all to ourselves. So let's go to Magic Kingdom. And there you have it. That is everything we did on our wedding day in our Magic Kingdom photo shoot with a little bit of the Grand Floridian. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Here is one look at the dress. It goes all the way back. And I am about to get unready so we can go to Magic Kingdom, but we are definitely taking a nap first. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all of that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Kingdom again for the second time today.